Senator, you got elected as a Democrat. You decided to leave the party. You didn't go to the Republicans. You, you, you want to be independent. And these days, it's tough to be in the middle. You, I, I, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of uh, left and right don't like that these days. Tell me in your own words why you did it. Well, I, I think the party that captures the middle, whether that's the middle class mm -hmm. or the middle of the road voter, is the one that can govern. We have the two bases of the respective parties, the Republicans and the Democrats. Their base, uh, they're bankrupt. Uh, they're driven more by outrage and hate mm -hmm. uh, against one another than they are about rallying around behind the city, the Commonwealth, or the country. Uh, that's why I moved from the Democratic Party. I, I grew up, my father was a United Mine Worker. My mom worked for Ask Me, a public sector union. Blue collar roots, very, very deep in my family for generations. When the Democratic Party, particularly at the national level, not only started to dismiss those blue collar voters, but to demonize them. That's when I decided I need to get to Where the Where do they event. demonize them? I mean, because policy-wise, you get, I've had progressives will argue, hey, who's actually advocating for, for better policy for these folks? And they say- I'll give you a great example. So, yeah, I'll give you ahead. a great example, Chuck. I was a big advocate for an energy project here in mm -hmm. Luzerne County, a $6 billion project that's going to be transformative for the region, $25 billion economic impact, and also right on the environment. But because it was tied to natural gas, 50 percent of the Senate Democratic caucus voted against voted against legislation that would provide an incentive to this company. Not only did they vote against it, when we had a rally with union building trade workers, mm -hmm. union building trade workers fighting for their jobs, the rallying cry of the progressives and the far right was your jobs don't matter. And when you tell a man or a woman that their job don't matter, that their job doesn't matter, you're telling them they don't matter. That's when I decided I need to get to the center to get away from the extremes on both the right and the left to try to rally the middle, middle class and the middle of the road voters to get back to common sense policies in this Commonwealth.